Hello again. This is just a short lesson on how to work the right hand side of your web page and just to get an understanding of what it's for. On your local page up the top we have the information of course that's showing us um, links to various events, attractions, workshops, um, schools, property profiles. We also have some a slideshow there showing us the township and a map. And on the right hand side what we aim to do is promote ourselves being the local rep for the area and also underneath there we promote the school. So anyone who visits the website they generally start to know that on the right hand side is where the local rep is and it's also got connections to all the schools. And we also list the community centres and um, any business groups that happen to be in the township because we want to network with the business groups. So as you scroll down your page you'll find on the right hand side there are buttons. Now these are to be no more than four centimetres wide. They can be as long as you like but they need to fit within this green area on the right hand side. Up the top it's very important that you put your details and a picture of you which is a good idea. And thereafter we generally list business groups and then we do the schools. We also try and support the sporting groups and it's about getting more attraction or people looking at the site and connecting, knowing what They've just moved in the township, knowing what clubs are in the township. So when we run the MS Paint program, the way it measures is often in percentages. And up the top you'll see it's got um, 100, 200, 300 and so on. We don't want our button being much more than 200 in the width. If it's more than 200, it will have effect on your right sidebar and it will actually pull the web page out. So when we get to the um, paint program, try to ensure that your button's no wider than the 200 mark. Now where you're going to find most of your schools is by using Google. So if you call up the Google website, and generally you would just type your area, being Packingham or Monbolk or whatever your suburb is, followed by the word schools, and you should get a listing of all the schools. As you live in the area, you will know most of the schools that are there. Now not all the private schools or Catholic schools are listed so it is important that you, you include all the schools. We also do try and include preschools and kindergartens. Many preschools and kindergartens do not have a website so it's a good opportunity to go and offer them a website especially um, one for you to practice on. So you may want to do it for free or charge them a little fee that's up to you. But um, it also gives you a bit of recognition with the, the mums there at, um, at the community, at the preschool and many of the mums are, are in businesses as well. So it's a way of getting your name out there. Okay, simply go to Google and we'll type in suburb or schools and then the suburb. Once you click on the enter key, a list of schools will be on there. Now if you go to one of the schools, you'll notice most of them have a logo up the top, or have a logo. This is the logo we want to actually put place on our websites. So if you press the, you'll see the logo there for Packingham. It's quite a neat one. Now, if you look on your computer, you'll see you've got a print screen key. Now when you press the print screen key, what it does is take a screen dump. So it takes an actual um, copy of the entire screen. So just press your print screen key. Now you don't think anything's going to happen, but something has happened. So we'll just run the paint program now. Move down to the start button. Click on the start button. Click on all programs. Move up to the accessories. That's where you'll find the paint program. Click on paint and the paint window will appear. Now press Control V to paste your screen dump and click on the selector top left hand corner and select from the top left to the bottom right over the image, just dragging over the image we're wanting which is the Pakenham Secondary College button. Press Control C to take a copy. Now we're going to call a new sheet, press Control N, click on the don't save, a new sheet will appear and press Control V and you'll see that your Pakenham button has appeared. It's a little bit too big, it's over the 200 mark. So click on the resize icon in the horizontal area. We're going to reduce it down to say 80, so it's 20% smaller in the size. Now it will vertically also be reduced because of the selection on the ratio. Now press, click on the OK 
you'll need to make the worksheet the same size as the icon. So click on the grey area, you see the selection markers, click drag the selection markers up to meet the icon and now we can save it. Click on file, click on save, select your folder which should be your EOS local page, then your suburb folder and type in the school name followed by the word EOS because EOS is to be added to all the files that we create for Google recognition and spider recognition. Make sure it's a JPEG file, click on the save as type scroll icon, click on JPEG and click on the save button. So now we have a button there that we can in insert into our local page on the right hand side.